Why does hair grow and more strangely disappear during and after the Super Saiyan 3 transformation? Well in this video we're going to analyse this very strange Saiyan phenomenon and also before we start guys be sure to drop a like as it helps more fans see this video and also subscribe for more exciting content. When Toriyama originally designed Super Saiyan 3, he made the hair grow much longer to presumably make Goku look more powerful. The hairstyle of an opponent can have more effects than even their muscle size. It can impact the psychic state of an opponent, just like the lion is fearsome with all of that large hair and fur, so is the Saiyan in Super Saiyan 3, and he can look actually stronger than he really is. In Toriyama's original concept art, the form was meant to also cause the tail to spontaneously grow out again, however Toriyama scrapped this before it debuted in the manga. I know some of you guys would have wanted that for Super Saiyan 3, but Toriyama then did include it for Super Saiyan 4. He probably just wanted something like really easy for the toy animators to work with to distinguish between Super Saiyan 2 and Super Saiyan 3. You guys might also see Super Saiyan 3 as like a midpoint between Super Saiyan and the Great Ape, as the hair becomes animal-like. Toriyama's concept art and the filler scene in the anime with the apes popping up <laughs> made this idea quite valid. Now let's go more in depth about the hair changes, which is the most coolest thing about Super Saiyan 3. When the transformation occurs, the dramatic changes to the hair of the user are bizarre. Firstly, the eyebrows are seen till the final stage of transforming and then they just disappear, or they're covered over by a fold of skin, or they're vaporized by the sheer energy being expended. Then secondly, there's the incredible hair growth to down near the waist. When Goku first transforms, he not only intensifies his own energy, but he draws energy from the earth around him, a bit like a spirit bomb. His body is at this point holding far too much energy to handle, and he must adapt his physical body to survive and use that energy. This is where the hair reacts to become much longer and larger to allow him to hold the energy for longer and direct his power. Instead of calcium and keratin, a Super Saiyan 3's hair is probably made of actual raw ki. Super Saiyan 3 is 4 times as powerful as Super Saiyan 2 and 8 times as powerful as Super Saiyan, according to the Super Exciting Guide in 2009. So technically 8 times the amount of energy of Super Saiyan is also being transferred to the hair follicles, causing a drastic hair growth as the body doesn't know what else to do with that energy in the hair follicles. Of course, a Saiyan's power isn't in his hair. If that were true, then Raditz would have been stronger. But in the Super Saiyan 3 transformation, it could be that the key itself is manifesting as hair, which is a sign of their immense energy. Now the question you've been waiting the answer to for years, or maybe you've never even thought of it before, is this. What happens to all of the Super Saiyan 3 hair when they power down. When a Super Saiyan 3 powers down, the key multiplier ceases, so the energy flowing through to the hair follicles suddenly drastically drops and the golden key hair colour is lost, stimulating rapid hair loss as it disconnects from the blood vessel. Perhaps the hair disintegrates instantly as it's made of raw key and gets vaporised so you don't even see it fall out. Rapid hair loss in the blink of an eye isn't the greatest image to imagine. The new hairs are ready in the old hair's place, but the length of the new hair follicles doesn't grow nearly as long due to far decreased energy in the base form or regular Super Saiyan, so the hair grows back at the normal bodily rate. This is part of the toll that Super Saiyan 3 takes on the body, so this is why Goku may not have abused or overused the transformation because his hair follicles would probably like massively ache afterwards amongst a myriad of other symptoms. You might well ask, well, if this is true, why doesn't Kaioken cause hair growth? Well, despite Kaioken multiplying the user's power, it's not a transformation, but a technique that doesn't use energy. It's all to do with physical power, and it doesn't cause all the physical changes of Super Saiyan, but it does cause some. So this is why with Kaioken, the hair doesn't grow. If we think about Toriyama's original concept art, I actually think that Toriyama did think about how difficult to, it would have been to explain the tail growing and disappearing or being vaporized off and so he just decided, no, nah, I'm not going to do that, it's just too difficult to explain and awkward. But what the heck, maybe you don't even need to explain it. Whenever you look at the animation, the powering down process is always smoothed over by a fading animation or just a straight fade to white transition, <laughs> so we don't actually see what happens to all that hair. It actually powers down almost like a fusion timing out. 
Of course, this is just an easier way to animate, but the other suggestion I have is that Super Saiyan 3 is almost like a magical transformation, where when you power down, the science of the hair is just irrelevant and it just magically disappears. Perhaps Goku learned some things that feed into Super Saiyan 3 from the Metamorans as well. It's certainly not a form that is linear to Super Saiyan and Super Saiyan 2. Goku uniquely developed it in the afterlife, where the rules of Ki are different and it's a magical world of the Kais. This and that Gotenks modelled Super Saiyan 3 after Goku kind of explains why Gotenks Super Saiyan 3 looks exactly the same, even though Gotenks and Goku have completely different hairstyles. Goku learnt fusion from two Metamorans, and interestingly from GT, it was shown that if two identical beings fuse together, they form a third version of themselves with long hair and no eyebrows. So it's possible that Goku came up with Super Saiyan 3 as a way of like fusing him with himself by using his key to warp the fabric of space and time so that two of them exist simultaneously, which then fuse them all together. A person who thinks all the time. Dragon Ball is super. Kaioshin Kurt, stop overanalyzing it, bro. You're hurting my brain and my ears. Okay, all right, I'll stop the analysis. But hey ho, the Boo arc for Toriyama was all about having fun and creativity like he did in very early Dragon Ball. So we're not meant to see the logic and he certainly wasn't making this, the whole saga very logical. What do you guys think is the reason that the Super Saiyan 3 hair grows and disappears? Definitely let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. Also guys, remember to orange piccolo that like button and also subscribe for more exciting Dragon Ball content. And also if you missed it, check out this video on why Vegeta never went Super Saiyan 3. Thanks, Kai Kai.